哦啊<笑> ！Oh hello, and welcome once again to another installment of John Bond's titillating tales of titillation. You must be a brave soul for tuning in, because it's been less than seven days since our last installment. <laughs> Today's tale is far scarier than the last, and it's titled "The Haunted Woods." And if you don't think it's titillating, then you must already be dead. <laughs> Let's read, shall we? There lies a quaint village on the eastern seaboard where the time stands still. Its inhabitants, superstitious and wary of strangers, they cling to their old ways. There are no automobiles because there are no roads going in or out of this small town called Belasco. There were worlds once, but the woods took them over. In fact, the entire town has become encircled by the woods, leaving them no escape. For anyone who entered the woods would die a horrible death. Their body to be found the next day at the edge of the woods. Their scalp always missing. Not everyone heeded the warnings to stay out of the woods. This young man, who looks somewhat familiar, decided to head to the city. Not sure of what he would find, but what he found was death. Story. <laughs> the next morning, the young man's body was found by the edge of the woods, his scalp missing. But he was not to be the last victim. The wife to the village's superintendent was to be cast out in the woods for being a witch. Isabel, no! I never said she was a witch. I said she could be a real. But she was told she had to go. Isabel walked for hours with no sign of civilization or the supernatural. But then the cold fell upon her, and she became sickened by the smell of death. She turned slowly to see what no man or woman ever lived to tell about. The thing yanked her off her feet, and then gently, one by one, tore her limbs from her body. Her body was found the next morning, and her golden locks, whether real or man-made, were nowhere to be found. Well, Isabel, Isabel. Isabel, it's here that we came upon our third victim. Isabel, hey stranger, where are you going? Who you calling stranger? We're first cousins. <laughs> uh, don't mock the laws of our elders, since this town survived by inbreeding for the last hundred years. We agreed to call everybody stranger. Now where are you going? Well, I'm going into the city. I'm going to try to sell my new invention. What do you got? Crap for brains? You can't go into the woods, or you'll end up like this. What is that? Why it's my wife Isabel. I liked her, right? No, I think you liked her. I didn't recognize her though. Well, she's always been messy. Oh yeah. Anyway, I gotta go sell this potion. What is that anyway? Well, it's a stress reliever, and you know, with your wife and everything, I think you should have a taste. Hmm, that's pretty good. I feel all relaxed, and ooh, my toes are warming up, and. I can hear the birds singing, and now the feeling's gone, and I'm mad. Well, that's the problem. It only lasts a few seconds. Well, I have to go. Wish me luck. Okay, luck. Um, <laughs> uh, but I, I wish you wouldn't go. But uh, I, I got to tell you this: if I find your dead body here in the morning, I'm gonna defecate on it, and then I'm gonna clean it up, cause that's my job, cleaning up the bodies that are on the roadkill. But there's no road, so it's a pretty good job. The first cousin walked only a short distance before he came upon the beast. Oh, just a minute. Who or what are you? I'm a werewolf. Aren't werewolves full of hair, or maybe covered in hair? 
most stars, and as you can see, are prematurely bald. Oh, so that's why you take scalps. That right, and now I'm gonna kill you. Well, wait, um, I happened to invent a hair restoring formula, and I'm walking in the woods with it. Mmm, <laughs> I feel so relaxed, and my toes feel hard. Well, wait a minute, my hair's not growing, and now I'm madder than ever. The first body's cousin was found at the edge of the wood. Enough was enough, cried the townspeople, and they formed a militia to kill the beast. Come on, everybody! I got silver bullets that'll kill anything! Rebel, rebel, rebel! Rebel, rebel, rebel! Rebel, rebel, rebel! So come on, everybody, follow me! And cover your faces so nobody knows you were already in the skit! Come on! The rioters located the beast and destroyed it with a shot to the heart. The villagers watched as the beast slowly transformed into a man. Ow, son of a bitch! And to this day, you can still hear the haunted cries of those who died in the haunted woods. Hey, you didn't tell us about the haunted woods. You told us how the woods became haunted. Mm. Well, that is another story. Be sure to tune in next time when our story will be about the time traveler, Stein Mel Gibson, who goes back in time and gets his butt kicked by Moses. <laughs> I should probably just hold the hold hold the pipe. Does that make me look better anyway? No. Does it make me look more studious? I think that was a good story.